We're leaving Guilin and heading toward Yangshao on the Li River. Our cruise takes us through some of the most scenic areas of southern China. Before leaving, Lele tells us the meaning of the Chinese flag. The big one in front means the community party, the government. So another four, right? Student, farmer, factory worker, soldier, all following the, the government. And along the river, no bridge. And all the local farmers who live in along the riverbank, they use their own ferry boat to, to cross the river. To cross the river. And it used to be all the ferry boats is the bamboo boat. But now it's the PVC. Because the government, they don't allow them to cut all the bamboo. So now they all use the PVC. Since we'll be spending some time in smaller villages, Lele gives us a warning on some items we might find on the menu. You look at the menu. Yeah. If they have, say, baby tiger, it's a cat. cat. Mountain yeah. lamb, it's a dog meat. Okay, so these two. Remember. <laughs> the villagers are paid to collect the water hyacinth, keeping the waterway free. They also end up using it for cattle feed. Along the river, we saw local villagers still using cormorants for fishing. Around the bend is Mural Hill, also known as the Mountain of the Nine Horses. If you look closely, you should be able to see the image of nine horses in the side of the cliff. Our lunch was all cooked on board with food brought in from the local villages on small boats. This area is called the Yellow Cloth Shoal, and it's famous for being depicted on the 20 yen banknote. Arriving in Yangshao, we walked through town, meeting up with our driver at one of the hotels. The hotel had some wonderful artwork, including this magnificent wooden carved table that was covered in bats. But this isn't the hotel we're staying at. Lissy has us booked at the Yangshao Mountain Retreat on the banks of the Oolong River. We were greeted with a pot of hot ginger tea and ginger biscuits, which we enjoyed while we watched the rafts float down the river. Lele suggested we take our raft trip in the morning, when it wouldn't be so crowded and hot. Our room had some unique features, including a wonderful view of the mountains from its own private patio. Tonight we're going to the Impression Sanjay Lu Show, from the choreographer for the opening and closing ceremonies of the Beijing Olympics in 2008. It's performed on the waters of the Li River with the impressive Karts Mountains as a backdrop, forming an incredible natural stage.
The next morning, while having breakfast in the garden, we enjoyed the spectacular view of the Yulong River. Our raft trip started right up the road, and we were the first ones there. Not another tourist in sight. This is our hotel, one of the few that are actually on the river, since it was built before restrictions were put into place. Wanting to see some small rural villages, especially on market day, our next stop is Fuli Ancient Town. But first, we walk through a small farming village on the other side of the river. On our walk, we were able to take a quick peek into one of the houses before making our way down to the ferry. This is definitely off the tourist path, and we were greeted with friendly curiosity by the locals. Once across the river, we make our way up into Fuli Ancient Town, where our first stop is a small Buddhist temple. This Buddhism have their about one, two, three, five generations, five generations. So at home, for example, if I feel unsafe, unlucky, so we put the, those generous picture on the dock right here wow. to protect, to protect the family. So that is why they all often have different weapons, see the weapons. Donation. Some of these buildings date back over 350 years and are mostly built with stone and clay bricks. One thing Fooley Town is known for is their hand-painted fans. And we stopped for a demonstration at the Ping Family Fan Factory, where they've been making fans for generations. <laughs> And what? Rice paste or something? Like a There's a starch? Rice and a wheat. Wheat. Make, make a starch. Yes. Hello, ni hao. Ni hao. It is silk. 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 It is glue. It is paper. At this painting. Yeah. Whole family painting by hand. Okay, so this 
Oh, so then they took the big one. The big one, yes. Eighty-six grams of that. Eighty-six. This one came home with us. It's always special for us to be able to meet the artist for the pieces we own. Today is market day, and it's only a short tuk-tuk ride away. The market's not for the weak of heart, offering a lot of livestock, along with produce, herbal medicine, and local specialties. With our interest in the rural life, Lissy had arranged for us to visit the uncle of our tut-tut driver, who lives alone in a small village called Three Canals. She wanted to get our feedback on whether this is something an American tourist would be interested in doing. During our ride, we passed by a number of small farms. This is all rice being dried on the driveways. Juan, who is 58, lived here with his wife and three sons. The house, being the oldest in the village, will probably be torn down when he dies. China Highlights helps him out financially, and if they end up booking tourists to come through here, that would help as well. The red banner on each side of the door are Spring Festival Couplets a saying wishing good prosperity or luck throughout the year. They, they don't have a lot of uh, the wood for cooking, uh -huh. so they use the gas. But those gas, they use, uh, the government used the manure. Oh. Manure mm -hmm. Methane. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, so, big TV. Big TV. Big TV. One thing we noticed in a lot of these houses yeah. is the large flat screen TV. In the small villages, they are subsidized by the government since that's the main way the government communicates with its people. Lele explained that one of the reasons why the old houses and temples have high thresholds no, no. Because in China, you know, the evil, oh. no, no lapse. Oh. Evil just go, jack, block it. So the, only for the human, we know how to cross it. He never told us that. Yeah, it, it, because that. evil, no, no lapse. No legs. Uh, on the second floor, no, the coffin. Oh, for his his for, no for him for him, oh, for, for, him. him for him for him for him for him. Coffee upstairs, but uh, and another one uh, when the people used to be just near the bedroom, but maybe some people feel scary, so they make all the coffin upstairs, upstairs. And how far in advance do they make it? Uh, before uh, around when the sixty. 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 I mean, they just prepare just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We really appreciated Juan opening his house up to us and to be able to offer him a little financial help. Back in Hangzhou, it seemed a little hypocritical as we sit down in a nice restaurant for a big meal, emphasizing the economic disparity seen in most societies. So back to our delicious lunch. Lele showed us how to eat the Peking duck and pork using a wonton wrapper. We also had mango chicken, fried dumplings, and green beans with eggplant, along with a sweet fruit rice wine. Well, we're off to the airport for a sad goodbye to Lele as we head on over to Hangzhou, our next destination. <laughs>